Number two from the stoichiometry worksheet. So we've got photosynthesis in plants creating a sugar from carbon dioxide and water and of course sunlight. We've got a balanced equation, or excuse me, an equation but not a balanced equation of CO2 plus water produces this uh, glucose sugar and oxygen. So we need to balance this out. Um, I'm going to start with a six here and Let's see here, that gives me, uh, I'm going to put a 6 here also for the hydrogens. So that gives me, let's see here, 6 times 2 is 12, plus another 6 is 18. I've got 6 here, I think I can get away with a 6 here, and I think it's balanced. Uh, let me double check that, 6 carbons, 6 carbons, uh, I've got 12, plus another 6 is 18 oxygens. I've got 6 plus another 12 is 18 oxygens and then 12 hydrogen. So yes, that does balance the equation. So there's my balanced equation. First question is, how many grams of glucose can be created by performing photosynthesis if 13 and a half moles of carbon dioxide, 13 and a half moles of carbon dioxide is used? And we want to know how many grams of glucose. So there's my given and my unknown. Uh, looks like this would be a mole mass problem since I'm starting with moles and ending with grams. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and write down my given. 13.5 moles of carbon dioxide, CO2. And over here I'm looking for grams of glucose, which is the C6H12O6. So I'm going to go ahead and start by going, well, let's do this. I'm going to put together a little plan here. I want to go from moles of CO2 to moles of glucose, C6H12O6, to grams of glucose, C6H12O6. So what I want to do is I want to convert from moles to grams, excuse me, from moles to moles, and then from moles to grams. So my first step is going to go from moles of carbon dioxide to moles of that sugar. And let me go ahead and, again, I'm going to highlight instead of boxing because I don't have a lot of room. I am interested in this, and I am interested in this. So let me put together my molar ratio. That would be 6 moles of carbon dioxide on the bottom, one mole of sugar, C6H12O6 on the top, moles of carbon dioxide cancel. My next move is to go from moles of glucose, that sugar, to grams of glucose. So I'm going to have one mole of C6H12 O6 on the bottom and so many grams of C6H12 O6 on the top. Let me go ahead and grab a calculator. Um, I could look this stuff up on the periodic table. I'm looking for stuff like oxygen, carbon, hydrogen. Let me get rid of this stuff here from the last problem. And I've got C6, so that's 6 times 12.01. I've got 12 times, this is for carbon, this is for hydrogen. I've got 12 times 1.008 for my hydrogen. And I've got uh, 6 times 16.00 for my oxygen. So again, I'm getting this off of the periodic table. So I'm going to have 12.01 times 6, and then I'm going to add 12 times 1.008, and then I'm going to add 6 times 16, and it's 180.156. So let's 
180.156 grams. My grams, excuse me, my moles of sugar cancel. I've got grams, it agrees with what I was looking for. I'm ready to go ahead and calculate. So I've got 13.5 times 180.156. Enter, and then divide by 6, and uh, again, I need three sig figs, so that's going to be uh, 4, 4, 405 grams of that sugar glucose. Next problem is... How many grams of water am I going to use to, with, uh, to create 20 moles of oxygen? So again, I'm going to identify my unknown grams of water, my given moles of oxygen. So in this case, this is a mole mass problem. Looking for grams, it's the same as before. I'm going to take that same path. I'm going to go from moles to moles to grams. I've got different materials this time. So let me write down my given 20.0 moles of oxygen times, I've got a new set of things that I'm interested in. I'm now interested in oxygen and water. So I'm going to create a ratio for that. Uh, oxygen is going to go on the bottom. That's a 6 moles of oxygen on the bottom. And it's 6 moles of water on the top. We could reduce this down to 1 to 1 if we wanted to right now. I generally don't do that, but you could if you wanted to. So at this point, I need to go and cancel some units here. Moles cancel, moles of oxygen cancel. I'm left with moles of water. I'm ready to convert that to grams of water. So let's see here. I've got one mole of water on the bottom. And on the top, that's going to be 18 point... Let's see here. That's 16 plus 2.016. It's 18.016 grams of water on the top. And I'm going to cancel some units out here. I'm left with grams of water, which is my unknown. I probably should have written that at the end here so I knew what I was aiming for, but there it is there. Grams of H2O. I'm ready to go ahead and grab my calculator. And really all I'm going to wind up with is 20 times 18.016. So it's 20 times 18.016 because these guys cancel out also. And I get uh, 360 decimal point because I need three sig figs. So it's 360 decimal points so that that last zero is significant. And there's my answer again. Um, you know, this and this both cancel out down to one.